Greetings fellow Decepticons, Soundblaster1987 here, continuing my figure eyes Kamen Rider model kit reviews with Master Grade, Kamen Rider Ichigo, new version. This is based on Takeshi Hongo, the original Kamen Rider from 1971, in his new design suit from Kamen Rider Decade onwards. As you can see, the main difference between this and the original original suit is the helmet being made of a metallic mint green with a silver mouthplate instead of the original which was black with a metallic green mouthplate. As you can see, Ichigo here is in his classic standard post tension battle pose, which is actually the same pose that he uses to transform in the first place. For size comparison, here he is with the figureized standard Kamen Rider Ryuki I've already reviewed, link in the description below. Just so you can get a sense of how much bigger the Master Grade kits are compared to the standard line. Being a Master Grade model kit, Kamen Rider Ichigo here is just as articulated as the figureized standard kits I've reviewed of a 6 inch scale, if not more so due to the larger engineering allowing for more joint flexibility. For example, He's going double ball joint in the neck for multiple different expressive poses. There are multiple joints in the nail muffler around the neck as well. There's a ball jointed thing that connects this piece here as well, which can also be swapped out for this piece for different shape for different dynamic poses. There's a so the hinge between the shoulder joints and the pec muscles that allows the shoulders to move, you know, more like across the chest for his dynamic pose. Universal shoulders with an internal butterfly joint that goes up and down to facilitate further movement. There's also a bicep swivel. Oops. Got to be careful though, because the black stripe stickering can get disrupted if you use that too much. Just give me a second to fix that, bear with me. This is the problem with the mostly sticker detailing on this design. The stickers tend to clash, collide and go in all the wrong places. Thus causing damage to each other whenever they're moved. These are more of a display than play, really. Then you've got a double jointed elbow, like so, and a universal multi jointed wrist as well for different dynamic poses. And you can pull off and swap out the hands, so you've got this uh, karate chop, fully solid molded hand, and you've got swappable hands with fully articulated hinged fingers. The, yeah. The fingers are actually ball jointed at the base knuckle and then hinged in the middle so you can actually get a good uh, finger spread pose out of this thing. But because of the detailing on them, these are extremely fragile and must be treated carefully. Then there's uh, a ball joint in the waist for ab crunches and such like, I mean not the waist, the mid torso rather. And because of the middle segment of the torso here, there's stripe detailing in the lower ab muscle type detailing on the front of the chest can move alongside these joints for more, you know, dynamic fluidity of posing and such like. There is also a waist swivel because of the way the parts connect together. Then you've got a multi-jointed hip system because these parts of the waist can rotate up and down to facilitate more leg movement. And then you've got a universal joint within the hip as well. And a thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. And a universal ankle and a toe hinge. The toe hinges are more useful for on the back foot kind of poses for when they're being posed in like self defense against an incoming attack kind of situations. But it can still be proven useful here too. 
As you can see, each go here is connected to a display stand on a extendable arm. There's a little uh, lever you can pull down at the bottom here to change the yeah, positioning of the extendable arm. You'll have to excuse the yellowing on the clear plastic on my copy. I bought this figure, well this model kit, unassembled but still loose from under arcade, so obviously some sunlight has obviously got to the clear plastic parts between the original owner's usage of the kit and my possession of it. Even though the kit was unbuilt when I bought it and I've assembled it myself. You can also see that there's a chrome sticker behind the translucent eyes on the yeah, helmet to give the illusion of the compound eye effect from the TV models. And as you can see there's multiple joints on the display arm for different dynamic poses like showing you in mid-flight for the rider kick and that kind of thing. And there's this big wide claw thing that goes around the waistline to uh, keep him steady in these poses. So that more or less concludes my Kamen Rider Ichigo Master Grade Model Kit review. I have been Sam Blaster 1987. Join me again next time when my next review will be Sodo Chronicle Kamen Rider Uja from the Kamen Rider Ryuki series. Till then, my next video altogether will be my December vlog where I count down the top 10 most fatal Transformers toy design flaw diseases, such as gold plastic syndrome, visible head syndrome, combiner kibble and that kind of thing. Till then, till all are one.